just hear Dolch at the end. Excellent. <laughs> Dolch at the end. Alright. R is in the chat. <laughs> oh fuck, that's right. Double asterisk doesn't work. <laughs> Dot rar. Like a knock off, knock off Exodia. So you're admitting that you're short, are you? What? What? How? Your Exodia's smaller, weaker cousin, Exoge. Yeah, you're admitting that you're smaller, are you? How am I admitting it? It is literally your name, it's Joe! That is recap. <laughs> Alright, last time on Celestial Quest. I hate you, Celeste, for making me realize <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm glad you finally realized that. I thought she was doing that for you! Because <laughs> oh. she jealous. said she was ha she she said she had to make one for you. Last time. No, Anthony. I don't you give a damn. Do, you do the recap. I don't have a recap to do. If I, I'll do it if it's. Where it is? There it is. Okay, so last time we left off, uh, the group had just. were just a. maybe a mile away from the town. When they were trying to decide whether they should just camp out for the night or actually go to the town. Um, uh, with lack of response and Cyrus digging a hole, Yuna announced, I guess we're going to camp out. Uh, from there, there were, uh, you know, some uh, clarifications of words and whatnot. Uh, where... Uh, Things were just tension again. Tension was rising again. Um, Yuna and Fio left to go um, foraging. Kalia went to go take a walk, um, leaving Cyrus and Koshka to do some shenanigans. <laughs> um, afterwards, um, Yuna and Fio came back after Fio had cheered Yuna up, and so Koshka was jokingly saying. I say that with parentheses to um, go hunting. That they should go. That she and Cyrus should go hunting in the town for humans. Um, you know, you know, being voice of reason again is like no. <laughs> um, where uh, instead, Cyrus and Koshka ended up leaving to go hunt out in the wild. Uh, while that's going on, Yuna looks around for Kalia, where she act has actually not come back from her walk. Uh, little Fio attempts to take to the air, first getting smacked by a crow before she actually managed to get in the air, um, to look for Kalia. She spots Kalia talking to, um, to two humans, you know, a brother and a sister, over at a, a carriage. Um, after convincing the two not to well, mostly the sister, not to leave during the night because of uh, creatures out about hunting right now. Um, they were going to head back to town. Kalia and Fio take uh, hitching a ride with them. While Yuna, after finally deciding to go after them while leaving a flower trail for Cyrus and Koshka to follow her in case they got back before her, um, she was left dumbfounded as she watched Kalia and Fio just right away in his carriage with these two humans towards the town. And that's where we last left off. A work of art, if I do say myself, so myself. Thank you. Much better than mine. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. You need to pay attention to what they're saying. Oh, if I'm with those shenanigans, okay. I'll lose a I'll use a different word later. Or next time. Wait, that Wait what? No, what? <laughs> Anyways, 
Yes, uh, that was what happened. Where where do we pick up? Uh, that is up to who, whichever group of people wishes to continue next. Alicalio has said when Gina said, but what about going back? She said, love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. After what? <laughs> After Yuna watched them leave, she's just like, okay, I just have to explain what happened. Everything's gonna be okay. I sh mm -hmm. but yeah, everything's gonna be fine. And she's gonna turn around and follow her little flower tail back to where the spot where she last was. Yeah. And that's. And I pass on the torch to one of you guys. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm just trying to think uh, who wants to pick up the like Kaliafio or. I mean, I don't mind picking it up. Gladys, roll a 1d2. Mm. One. Okay. I think that worked, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, the the Koshka, uh, Koshka met up with Cyrus. Oh, yes, shit. I read the I read that stuff. Yeah, they caught uh, their hunt. Uh, Koshka actually gained the bigger game because she got two <laughs> than Cyrus, and that's where you guys left off because she went looking for you with her nat twenty and she found you. Yeah. And then for some reason, oh right, that's what those. Uh, D20s were for. We were arguing about how displacement worked. Okay, um... Koshka and Cyrus, you both arrived back to where the camp was. Like, where camp was dictated. And you don't... You both don't see anyone. Koshka just looks at Cyrus, waiting to see his reaction. Let's see his reaction. <clears throat> when he looks around, you can see his eyes peering back and forth, and finally back at, in the direction where his hole is. You see the slightest tinge, an eye twitch, come from him. Hey, and, there you. and he continues walking to the hole. Koshka tilts her, uh, tilts her head to the right. Did, did you actually take this in stride? He looks back at you, uh, again, like his face looks pretty calm. And he says, in what? <sighs> we literally just spoke about it an hour ago. He, um... Uh, he's holding it okay so far, so he's just going to ignore you and walk back to his hole. I actually thought I was gonna get a low number. I was hoping for a low number. No. Therapy session worked, bitch. Therapy session's working. Are you- No, you're not getting a fucking answer. Anything else you wanna do, Koshka? No, she's just gonna wait for him to- 
start chasing off after Yuna. <clears throat> he sits down in his hole and he continues to eat his, his, his catch. She's still gonna keep waiting. You do that. She she's expecting it regardless. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, with that on that twenty, he manages just to keep calm and wait since he doesn't see pretty much anyone else. Theo, Yuna, Kalia. Nani. His hose. His hose. Um. Yeah, he waits. And you know, eventually you come back. Yeah. She's just uh, um, in a hurried, you know, way. She comes back of the following her flower trail, and then um, she sees Cyrus and Koshka, you know, going back to camp. And she's like, "Hmm." She's gonna do a wisdom check. Do it. You do that. I do that. Where is my... You're not doing that. Horny by default, girl. But... There she is. Okay. What? <laughs> 50. <laughs> you get a sense of frustration. But nothing in the usual peak of anger. Alright. It's like not a constant line though, but the net gain, like the net is zero. So it's like going up and down, up and down. It's like a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. With every beat, he just, it's frustration. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, she, she sees them, she feels that, you know, Cyrus is actually taking this not as bad as she really thought. <laughs> than he usually does. So she's gonna call out. Koska, Cyrus. Koska, uh, yeah, no, you, 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 you hear that? Unless you're distracted. Uh, let me see something real quick. As she turns around, she takes another bite from one of the lemurs. Cyrus kind of looks over his shoulder looking back at you, Yuna. He doesn't look mad, but he looks a bit annoyed, but he's... Don't, don't take it personal. Because <laughs> uh, it's not her fault, it's totally Koshka's. She's just gonna like stop like a good 10 feet away, um, seeing that, you know, just having notice Koshka taking a bite out of something and she's just like trying not to make a big deal um but uh then um she's gonna say I'm sorry it's just we we uh went to look for Kalia and I went after Theo because she took off to the air to find her, even though I told her just to find her and come back. So I went after them, but I, I left a trail! She says, pointing it out now. Uh, Koshka, you noticed the trail. You lost both bird and squid? No, wait, she doesn't know yet. Uh, fish? lost. I did find them, but um, it seemed that they they were talking to some humans, and then they got on their carriage to head to town. We <laughs> come with the check. <laughs> you allowed them to go off this. Complete strangers. No, I had linked to Kalia. I was telling her to come back. But all she said was lovely. And to meet her and Theo in town. With one of her four hands, uh, Koshka reaches up and pinches the bridge of her nose. 
they do know as she gestures back at uh Cyrus with with the one of the lemurs just flopping around in her hand <laughs> that dragon is not going to be happy about this you look at Cyrus Una and his eyes are a little more like wide open like looking at you like the fuck are you what the fuck did you just say but like he like expression wise not verbally he's just like looking at you like what <laughs> they did what <sighs> and to think I went to through trouble of getting bird dinner Do you see you know, like look down kind of like rub her shoulder? Um I it's I, at least we know where they are. Do we so? I say it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we though? Do we know where they are? Yes, the town. And just how big is town? I like to look at the positives. <laughs> Not everything is positive. But then if you focus on what's not positive, it's it's just gonna get you riled up. It is not about focusing on negative. It is about remembering negative. Well, what was I supposed to do? Show up and, like, just go up there and be like, Hey guys, let's go back? Yes! I mean, I just didn't... I didn't make myself known, but I told... Oh, yeah. I see, like, I fell off. You told giant fish. To follow instructions. She nods her head. <sighs> she looks back to Cyrus. <laughs> well, are we going to stay here or go into town? <laughs> he gets up with a. You can see a bit of a bloody mess on him. And he just kind of wipes his mouth with his arm, like rubbing off, of, uh, cleaning off whatever blood was on his mouth. And he says, "We're going to town." That is what I thought. Remember what we spoke about before hunting. As she says that, she opens up the bag on her waist and drops the untouched lemur into it. And then she just starts walking towards the town, continuing to eat the other lemur. He looks to you, you're not waiting to follow. He, like, waiting for you to go ahead. You can see her ears twitching a bit, and it's not until, like, Koshka's a good ten feet away that she starts walking. He follows behind you. I guess, yeah, we head to the town. To the others. Uh, then, speaking of which... <laughs> Katie... Mm -hmm. Anthony... And NPCs! And I regret, NPCs. No, I regret nothing. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. We know. We know. It's okay, I've never seen a, spl a party split as much as this one does. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you guys are on a small caravan. Both you, uh, both of you are sitting by the female, the woman, uh, as she is essentially leading the horses, um, and the man is walking beside you guys. 
Um, real fast. I would. I, I feel like I would understand that um, why humans have currency to pay for things, but I definitely wouldn't understand value. Um, I'm just curious on how much I would have given my dunce ass with uh, the human world. Okay. Um. Uh, did you normally else. carry currency? I believe. Okay, so I believe my character would have tried to steal whatever currency my mother had stolen from pirates. Well, I say stolen, but they were in their her territory, so it's their fault. Um. <laughs> you know, ships tend to carry large, vast amounts of gold every once in a while. Roll me, okay, roll me a sneak. Alright. Um. Shit, where the fuck is. Okay! Depending, depending okay. on your sneak, I'll give you what. Which what to roll? Seventeen. Okay, that's good. Um, go ahead and roll me a one d twenty then. It's gonna be like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh wow! Damn! Damn! Okay, you yeah you stealthily walked into like your mother's treasures. And you just were like, okay, I only need, well, I don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna, and you just like kind of like wrap your arm around like a table full of like golden coins and just like slide him over to you. You, I want to say, okay, currency, I kind of want to, I don't want to make it with the whole, um, you can just Pop make it one. Gold. You can just make it one thing. It makes yeah. it easier that way. <laughs> I'm gonna do just the one thing, the gold. Uh, I'm gonna say you got 200 gold. Yay, baller. Yeah. Just, just needed, just needed to know this little tip. <laughs> just needed to add a zero to that 20. And a yeah, I was gonna say like whatever you got, I was gonna like times it by 10. Did not expect you to get twenty, but hey. I did um, either. But uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, had you gotten a lower stealth roll, I would have done like a one d ten and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yes, sir. You also stole like a gem or two. Hey. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Where are you? Where are you holding all this? Where would I be holding all this? Yeah. Do you have? Do you want like a? Bag? Do you do you put it in your like yeah, uh, water give reservoir? Her, give, her, give, her, give her a little bag. Yeah, you can have like a little bag. Literally, it's just dedicated to gold money. That I don't know what to do. <laughs> that you don't know what to do with. You have no idea how much you need. You don't know. You you don't even know if two hundred gold is enough. Little do you know it, it's plenty. But you're just like okay, this, this looks like enough. For life. Yeah, you, you you think this is plenty. Like, okay. Like, just, just like, you think, like, oh, this is just enough to get me by maybe, like, maybe a day or two. Okay. Um. Little do you know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna get robbed. <laughs> my bad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna rob somebody else if they try to rob me. Oh my god. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Now I have 400 gold. <laughs> Um, I will, I will speak to the lovely woman who I've been, uh, uh, uh being accompanied by. Who you've been uh, terrifying? Yes, who I, who I've been terrifying by speaking, uh, the truth, but not telling all. Alright. So, um, what... So, I was just wondering if you, there was some sort of, you know, inn of some sort in town that's reasonably priced oh we have we have plenty uh not too far from where our shop is actually uh, oh, by the way lovely. what what are your names i don't know if i caught caught them <laughs> she kind of thinks to her head um fuck shouldn't give my real name right that's what i do um <laughs> it stares at that as you 
Uh, I'm going to use, go ahead and use my mother's name and just go with Cassandra. Cassandra? What a beautiful name! Can you and you? Cassandra? <laughs> you forgot <laughs> Fia was there, didn't you? I did not forget Fia was there. I was just hoping she was distracted okay. by the band. <laughs> I'm was. gonna say this again with a different tone. You forgot Theo was there, didn't you? I did not. Okay, fair enough. He just blinks. He's like, wait, just <laughs> Um, yes, you know, usually call me Kalia for short. Did you, did you whisper that? Uh, yes, we we're going to attempt to. <laughs> Flight of tongue. I'm just kidding. Slide of tongue? No, I'm just kidding. What the fuck? You've been watching Penn and Teller shit, man? What the? Wait, what? Use gift of gab! Use gift of gab! Anyway, what do I roll? Slide of. Uh, uh, uh. Stealth? Isn't that like seventh level? And yeah, that'd be stealth. Like, gift of gab? No, it's pretty low. Is it? Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, you... Mm. Yeah, you, you, you just got away with it. Oh, it's only second level. Jesus Christ, I was way off. Yeah, it's a very easy spell. <laughs> Is that all you were going to say to each other? Um, I don't know if she says anything back to me. Okay, um, I am Fiona. Oh, Fiona. Cassandra and Fiona. Well, my what name is care. Allison, and that my that is my brother over there. His name is Ken. And then you hear him go, Ken, it's Ken. Is that short for, like, Kenrith or anything? Ken? It's not short for anything, it's just Ken. I call you Kenny? And he glares at Allison, and then she just kind of like, smiles and like, uh, looks away. No, you can't call me Kenny. I mean, what's it, Kenny, like, short? It, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, don't don't mind his sour attitude. He's just a little bit frustrated that we couldn't make our, uh, our shipment today, or that he's walking. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, you can take a nice spot if your legs are tired. I'm not tired. Just talk to my sister. Ignore that I'm even here. That's kind of difficult with the negativity that you're pouring out, but okay. <laughs> Allison just kind of like if you guys look at her she kind of like peers over you guys to look at Ken like smiling like like that's what I say all the time <laughs> and Ken just looks he looks angry if you don't mind me asking wait um, Cyrus where is your guys uh, um, uh, shipment headed to well we or rather, are where were you guys headed to we were just gonna go to the next town over and attempt to sell some of our spices, but, uh... Shut up, Atra. We were... Shut up, Ants. Shut up, Gladys. Oh, Chiru. You should we know were... by now that you can't hold me back. Quiet or I kill your kitty. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you, she, she, um, we were going to go over to the next town over and see if we can sell our spices. Usually we sell them across the seas, they sell for much more, but, uh, it's been a little bit difficult lately. Well, I can't what imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> I can have, a, I have a feeling what it is, but I'm not going to say. It's like, why difficult? Well, the ships that we send our spices on don't tend to make it back, apparently. It's, uh, it's a little 
it's it's a little scary. Have you tried flying? Flying? Well, not. No. How would we? How would we do that? Let's see, blue. Like, um. Ken is like looking over at you, Theo. See, like the way you were staring see, at him, he is staring see, at you. Ken's just like. She kind of just like flap, like her arms. Uh, she lo uh, Hollison looks over to you, Kalia, for like help. Like, uh, uh what? Uh, she just smiles. Well, yeah, uh, she just tilts her head halfway. <laughs> In her head, she's like, I have no idea. I mean, can't you guys just. I mean, if... can't you swim? Swim? Well, it'll take a little too long to get there through swimming. Hmm. Oh. Well. Hmm. I'm sure what my dear Fiona means is that there's plenty of ways to try to ship things off, perhaps a, a, um, a different route. Well, where we, where we would make most of our money, it's a little, it's, it's, I don't, I think our choices of routes are limited, but uh, that's why we were kind of traveling by foot or, uh, <laughs> And she kind of gestures to the horses, or by horse, to the next town over, and hopefully we can sell some of our spices. The thing is, being on the same continent, it's... we don't make as much money. Hmm, but... Does it... traveling at night kind of pose a danger to you? Well... She... you can see her slowly, like, peering over, looking at her brother. Someone wanted to make our soul as soon as possible. And then she like slowly comes back to look at you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, that's dangerous at night. That's where the creepy copies come back. Especially fire. when you're traveling. You know, like in anime is when you get like that little red mark over your head. <laughs> yeah, that's what he has right now. Oh, the, the uh, vein pop. The what? The, the angry vein. vein. Yeah. <laughs> I guess someone doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. But it's not important. And you said like... I don't know. Higher? I mean... Not that your brother is not strong, I'm sure he can pick up a few bats, but it gets a tiger <laughs> or a bear. Well, these roots, as you can hear, kind of can speak, speak up, Sorry. are speck up. <laughs> these roots are safer than just traveling all willy-nilly anywhere you two may have gone. I don't see much of an issue, Ex and then she's like, except for, I don't know, mythical creatures, like a, a dragon or, or a, and you see her like, kind of like, she drops the leads that are holding onto the horse and waving her hands back and forth, or a, a, a giant griffin or something. And you, you see Ken kind of drop his head as she starts getting into it. Or a six-legged cat? Or a six-legged cat! <laughs> a six-legged cat? And she looks at you. Because, <laughs> yeah, six-legged cat. They're, like, they're very creepy. C creepy? Mm -hmm. They have tentacles and, and yellow bright eyes and black fur. Very creepy. And big boobs. Uh, and wait. big boobs! <laughs> what is that? Lost detail? Like, you see her getting more and more scared, and then her face just, de like, deadpans when you say big boobs. <laughs> you just hear Ken go, wait, what? 
<laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> Kalia looks to turns around and looks at you like, the fuck? When you look at her, he immediately looks forward, staring at the ground, walking ahead. <laughs> Oh. Well, anyway, speaking of mystical creatures, I was wondering, like I was talking about earlier, if any of you guys seen unicorns once upon unicorns. a time? Unicorn. And then before she can really finish saying the word, he goes, "No, uh, we, no, we avidly avoid these creatures. We don't even let them into our shop." But uh, he looks at Theo and then looks back at the ground. We don't. We haven't even seen a unicorn. We don't really discuss them. It's not really our forte. And why is that? That's... well, what's the point? They... It's almost as if they don't exist. They just are never here. It's probably smart to... Uh, most mythical creatures don't really come close to most humans. Well, that makes sense. Humans are kind of... Humans are what? Huh? They said no, what... humans are kind of like... There's a lot of them. They're like all over the place. And sometimes they... You know, they ask questions like, What are you? And it's like... And it makes you sad. <laughs> Alice and Shai's away. How, how about have you heard anything about them? Heard anything about unicorns? Yeah. Maybe mm. somewhere far away, nearby, um, some off distant place. Maybe they were here once, you know? She taps on like her chin, and as like she, you see that she has. Uh, <laughs> roll me a perception. Alright, we're, we're looking for the low rolls nowadays. God damn it, dude. When the, when the low rolls start happening, it's gonna be terrifying. It's gonna be when you're in a life or death situation. Exactly. Um, Theo? Oi! Perception. Oh, fuck. Wow. Okay. Uh, Allison's a little bit too distracted with talking to you guys, and Ken's kind of just, uh, being called out and staring at the ground a little more than he should. Uh, you two both notice, like, simultaneously that the horses are going off path. You feel like a bump and a hit here and there as they're kind of, like, traveling off path. And as you see Allison kind of talking, both her hands are off the leads. Uh, um, Allison, the horses? Huh? Oh! And she quickly turns to grab them, and, uh, she, like, jolts them. She, you see her pull, and they jolt back, and they go back onto the path. Um, what's the check so that you guys, like, don't fall over? Oh, okay. In this case, it'd be a strength if they're trying- strength save if they're trying to stay on the thing, it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it depends on the type of wagon. Like, let's say, let's say that they're inside of it. I would say you. Really... It's like you know those old time, like not exactly, but you know those old, like the the front where you guys are sitting. It looks like those old timey. Little house uh, and prairie style. Yeah. Um. I would go with. Ooh, it's it's a toss up between dexterity and strength. I personally, I would say strength because you're trying to hold on to your position. Dex would be more like if you're standing in the back and something jolts and you try to stay standing. That'd be a dex. I'm gonna say strength check on both of you. Hey, let's fall down. A check or a save? Uh, it would be a save. Oh, okay. Hey. Bye bye, Cassandra. I'm just hoping I fall on Ken. 
<laughs> Damn, Theo. Strong little one. <laughs> uh, Theo, you just kind of like... When we you guys hit the bumps, you just kind of like lift up a little bit and you sit perfectly back where you were sitting. Kalia over here, however, she just like it hit the bump and her body like pressed against yours and she falls over to the right. And uh, you fall off the uh, the 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 caravan. Fortunately, your your friend Ken over here notices and manages to catch you. Oh, wait. Damn it! I mean? wanted to hurt him without, you know, like, actively like hurting him. So it's Allison, Theo, Kalia. Huh? That's how I imagined it. And uh, Ken had, he got, he got, he got a good roll. So yeah, he catches you. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh, thank you. Uh, sure thing, Cassandra, as he. Tells Al like he looks at Allison and she stops the horses and he helps you to sit back down onto the um, the caravan. Allison, if you can do me a favor to just pay a little more attention, yeah? And she's, she like guilt. She gives a guilty look and she nods. Nah, she's like, yeah, right. I mean, it's nice. Ken looks at you like he 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 just like. One eyebrow, one eyebrow up, the other just like confused. Just what does that have to do with anything? It's hard to see. Allison kind of gestures to feel like, yeah, what, what she said. <laughs> um, Kali sort of bows her head towards uh, Ken over here, thanking him again as he goes ahead to hop onto the uh, carriage. Yeah, you guys get comfortable, sit back down, and are continuing your way to the town, uh, which you guys are finally in. Or unless you guys wanted to do more. I want her to finish answering my question. What was your question again? Sorry. Uh, it was in regards to... Um, the unicorns. If, yes. Oh, well, uh, back to your question. Um... Well, we're simply just here for... We just sell spices. We don't really... Uh... Any hmm. spicy? Some of them are. Ooh. Um, well, how about anybody you may know of? Possible things. I... Maybe you can go to... Oh, I know. You can go to the, uh, the... The Wandering Rider. The, it's a store not too far from... It's a little deeper into the... Like, towards the docks, but... It, it's a bit of a bookstore. Maybe you can ask the owner there. She kind of... She kind of gasps a little bit. And she just lo looks up and... Oh! Um... Yeah, okay. Um... What be lovely. Uh, towards the locks, you say? Oh god, I'm turning into a different accent. <laughs> huh. Um, just towards the docks? To what? Uh, just towards the docks. Towards it, the docks, yes. It's okay, Anthony. Accents are hard. Trust me. <laughs> um, then... Fiona and I will go ahead and check it out, uh, when we get the opportunity to. But there's water at the docks. I understand your dislike for the sea, but, you know, we're not going into it. You have to smell of it. Well, we can smell, you can smell the ocean from here. Yeah, it's strong when you see it. Well, we'll go ahead and go inside the building and we don't have to worry about it. He nods. Um, yeah, that, I think that's it for now until we get to the end. Um, that's all I got. You guys are, you guys are pretty much like there. You guys are gonna get there much quicker than the others. Um, hell yeah, shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me one second to read their stuff. I am the spirit of fire. This is my sister, the spirit of water. Ah. Allison's just gonna be like, what? <laughs> Ken's just gonna be like, ignore them, they're just talking. My hair lights up. <laughs> you what? I said my hair lights up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> no. Kalia, you understand that fire burns wood and you guys are sitting on wood. No, her hair. Like, not like. like oh, not her body. Like, huh? Okay, oh, gotcha. Right, well, just her hair. Uh, isn't like it, isn't it open back? Isn't it open back? No, like it like it's the carriage. Like... The carriage, it's a, it's a, no, it's a, it has like a little bit of a hut. It's not big. It's okay. So it... it's a little canopy. Yeah. Pew, don't do that. <laughs> no, I mean it lights up as it not catches fire. I oh, it brightens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you cast light on your hair. <laughs> 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 it's more like a shimmering light. You know how that like goes like, in those. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can. I can get by on that. Uh, Yuna and Koshka, you guys can continue verbally if you'd like. Koshka slows down her pace to allow Yuna and Cyrus to catch up with her. Your senses seem to be dulled in the company you keep. Why do you? Rely so easily on them. Because that's my instinct. I was, I had a power like this given to me so I can sense the intentions and feelings <laughs> in the hearts of others. And I trust them. You trust too easily. First impressions are not always right. Well, I only saw them for a second. Precisely. Even with your empathic abilities. It is impossible to know a person's being within only a few seconds. You asked me how they acted, and I answered your question based on what I felt and saw. Very well. I suppose... She glances over her shoulder again. A single eye glinting back at Cyrus. He's watching you. You, it, specifically. It shall be up to us... to... determine the safety of these humans. Well, I do not know about him, but I plan to use my eyes, my nose, and my ears, and not some magical sense. Doesn't answer yes or no. 
she looks. Okay. She looks back at uh. Uh. Sorry, Cyrus again. What say you? What? Shall will you determine safety or threat of humans? If they don't attack us, then I won't attack them. It's just that simple. You see as she's still looking over her shoulder, the corner of her mouth spreads into a toothy grin. Sometimes it is not that simple. But we shall see. It's okay. only difficult if you make it difficult, which, as he turns his whole head to face you, you do best. That... that... To the grin turns into a Cheshire smile. Oh, absolutely. I like it when things are hard. Fucking <laughs> kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that got someone. I was able to maintain my composure well enough until Katie fucking laughed. And it wasn't even the fact that that she laughed, it was the way she laughed that triggered you. <laughs> yes! Oh. That awkward, I get it. <laughs> he just growls very quietly. Uh, he tries not to growl. He, he instinctively growls at you. But he doesn't want to do it, like, he realizes and tries not to do it loud enough for, um, unity. <laughs> they're perkin, they're not, they're not droop. They're, they're, they were drooped, but the moment she heard Cyrus, like, his answer, they perked. Roll me perception. Will do. You heard him. <laughs> In response to the growl, you just hear, <laughs> Oh, please. You should already know how I like things hard, my scaly friend. You know some of the proper cheese. Koshka, you handle things the way you want to. And you leave Cyrus and me to handle it our way. As long as you don't attack the humans, there won't be a problem. But Cyrus what if like they attack them. me? Are you saying then that I cannot attack them? You don't necessarily have to kill to defend yourself. Oh, but if they attack me, that is a free meal. Well then, you better hope that your senses are correct. the town first um, you can see um, essentially the way the town looks right now you guys are being strolled in and they kind of lead the horses to it's like an open back alley like it's not there's no buildings on the other side so it's pretty open and they travel a little bit further in um, when they finally reach the back of what looks like a store and Ken walks over to the door 
uh, out of his pocket, he pulls out a key and he starts opening it up. Um, and he starts moving, like, he starts having Allison, like, move the carriage into essentially, like, a garage. Uh, the horses are then led to, like, a. He leads the horses out of the, the garage. And Allison kind of starts, while he's doing that and taking care of the horses and all that, uh, Allison tries to kind of divert your guys' attention to go into the store so she can kind of help you with your little search. So if you guys could come this way, I can maybe help you with a map. Are you muted? Me? In fucking diddly do. Yes, he is. <laughs> um. Oh, a map. A map of what? Oh, the town. I could just show you. Like, I mean, it's not that busy here, but there's a little bit going on. So I can draw you guys up a little map, and you guys can like find uh, that that one bookstore and the uh, the an inn. Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> and then she kind of like starts not skipping, but she like happily runs or quickly walks she did to the front. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't think that my mic picked that up. Yeah, you two are being led through the back of the store. You guys just see a bunch of um uh, like, what's it called? Lettuce, what is it called in English? The... Mor mortar and pestle? To do the little crush Yes, crush yes, yeah. mortar and pestle. Yeah. Mortar and pestle. Uh, you guys just see, like, a bunch of mortar and pestles, and you guys see, like, like, um, containers, like, barrels of containers, and it smells a bit overwhelming, but at the same time, it also smells very pleasant in there. Okay. Wow, this is quite an amazing place. <laughs> it knocks on the barrel. It knocks back. No. Uh, you you knock on it and it, it doesn't, it, it feels like it has a bit of fortitude to it. The barrel sits there as you knock on it and you hear, well, the sound that a knock would make. Kalia casts knock. <laughs> oh, Kalia knocks. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she knocks on Fio's head. Um, is a sugar is place? Well, we have sugar. We have sugar for you, sugar. Leave it Sorry. There, no, you're fine. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Yeah. Eventually. Oh, go ahead. What about what? What about berries? Berries? Uh, Fiona really enjoys berries. Oh, well, I mean, I I have some berries, but they're more for, like, snacking on. Not really, we don't really put it in our spice blends. Mm. Oh, no, no, that's what I mean. What? She enjoys eating berries. I think uh. I heard what I needed to hear to say that. <laughs> I actually don't know if I heard you right. That's me as a player. Yeah. Uh, are you talking to me or Katie? Um. Wait. What did you say? What? What? In regard. What did? What did? What did Allison say in regards to the? Uh, to the berries. That they don't put it in their spice blend. But you were saying like no, she just likes to eat them, and then Allison's like oh, um, okay. Oh okay. That's, we're fine then. We're fine. <laughs> And uh, she finally um, 
leads you guys to uh, like the the front side of the store um, it's like a typical store you guys see a bunch of like this it's much more cleaner and organized in the front you see uh, a bunch of jars with con like with lids over top of them uh, and co like a like sh those shovels for for food that correspond next to the jars um, and she takes you guys to the desk and she takes out a piece of paper and a pencil and she starts kind of marking up the town a little bit. She it's not the best art but it gets the picture across more or less. And then she does she she circles one of them and she puts a star represent she's like, This is us and she points at the star. And then she circles the inn and she circles the bookstore. And this would be around where you guys wanna go. Would want to go. Oh, okay. As I sort of look at this thing. <laughs> it's not very nice looking. Um, and uh, where was the inn you said? Okay, so this is us, and she points to the star again. Uh, if you go down this way, and then she points at the map, and then her finger then leads your eyes towards, like, the actual pathway, and she, like, uh, trails her finger to the far right. And she like double points with her finger. If you go down that way, just you'll find the end. I think it's called the something pl pl uh, feather, the uh, plume, S something like that. Something something plume feather, whatever. Oh oh um okay. Oh wow, you have been incredible help. Oh, of course. Have you lived here. Lived here. Ooh, um, for, for all our lives. <laughs> That's quite a bit of time. Yeah, our mom and dad kind of not, they're, they're kind of, and then you just hear Ken, like he pokes his head over through the door, they're dead. And then he goes back to working. So you live here for 17 years? <gasps> And she kind of like blushes, like seventeen. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm twenty five. But yes, I've been here pretty much all my life with Ken. He's thirty. <laughs> oh no. Grandpa. He's thirty. <laughs> <laughs> He's legal. <laughs> God damn it, Anthony. But uh, yeah, we've just kind of been running our parents' business. It's a, it's a lot of work, believe it or not. Oh no, I definitely do believe you. Um, well, I, I feel like it'd be rude uh, um, not to try to pay you back, or at least buy something here. Uh, oh. I'm not really sure what to. Do you oh. have money plus contract? Oh yes, I, I, I do. She kind of pout, uh, pats her pouch. <laughs> You don't. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to pay me for anything. It's uh, trust me. It's fine. Honestly, what you like, and then she kind of like puts her hand over her mouth, um, to kind of like whisper to you guys. The fact that you were able to convince my brother to get us back over here is all that I can ask for. What are I'm you guys' passive perception? Think, I'm literally trying to think of whatever the fuck we need at the moment. <laughs> uh, passive perception. Yeah, what are your guys' passive perception? Uh, 16. Uh, 15. You guys, like, notice something at, like, the far end of your peripheral, and when you guys look, you guys see Ken's head, like, just, head, like, he just looked, he had just looked at you guys, and then went back to working, like, you guys just saw a small glimpse of him. Um, well, I guess there he goes. Allison looks like she is, like, she kind of, like, she's biting her lower lip and she's like, mm. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine. He just, he would like to, he likes to have money, I guess. He's not greedy, he's just a, <laughs> he wants you to buy stuff. And I'm the fact that I'm telling you not to buy stuff is, uh, yeah. 
Um, well, maybe for his sake we can buy something? I'm not entirely sure. Well, you can take a look around. We're pretty good. What We're the essentially fuck do we see? Okay. God. We're essentially closed, but honestly, you guys take your time. Um, you guys see a lot of spices. Um, and uh, there's actually a part where there's like a, a few containers where they it holds jerky. I feel like I want to get something that would make Cyrus happy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like in the back of her head, and like, yeah, I talked a lot about trust. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the jerky. What's that? Oh, that's that's jerky. We have quite a few varieties. Since we have so much spices, we kind of make some spice blends with jerky and. Uh, I'll take them off. To, uh, what? I'll take them no. off. No, Fiona, just maybe one of each. No. Please. Oh. There's, there is like a selection of five different types of jerky, and there is about maybe two pounds to each one. How about Kalia? How about please, you? Kalia, please. No, <laughs> I, I don't have that much money, Fiona. <laughs> I understand, but. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of time when we can run into jerky and, you know, maybe we can come back here sometime in the future. How much is the jerky? How, yes, how much is the jerky? The jerky is, um... Give me one second. Fuck, it's because everything's in copper and silver and... One silver about... is ten copper, uh, one gold is ten silver. I think yeah. I'm gonna probably stick to the D&D &D stuff. Um, okay. yeah. yeah, just to- because since a lot of this is already preemptively worked for the D&D &D stuff... And all I have is gold. <laughs> and all you have is gold. Oh, so the jerky, I want- it's like- And she kind of waves her hand. Three silver pieces per- per half pound, so six per pound. Um, I'm just gonna think right now because she doesn't understand fucking currency. Just, um, just pick like two of your favorites. A or whichever two you think would you like the most. And I need to think of something that could, Cyrus would like. Let's <laughs> taste the best. See, adds um. <laughs> oh, okay. So she points to the first one. This one's like made out from apalca, apal, 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 apal alpaca, alpaca. <laughs> are are it's you going? Are you going through the alpaca lips? It's 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 made out of plankton. It's plankton jerky. Uh, oh, alpaca. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Chiru. Took you a while, but you got there. I don't know why I couldn't say alpaca. A pla- a pa- a pa- a placa. A placa. Because you got the alpaca lips on your mind. I'm gonna pretend that's canon. Alpaca. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 sorry, I meant to say alpaca. <laughs> uh, this one is beef. Um, honestly, this one, as she points to the beef, is my favorite. Ken likes that one, and he points to another one. That one's fish. Um... I guess I know what I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, whatever you like do fish. Fish. I do. Oh, um, does she know? <laughs> yes, um, in a certain sense, it's sort of a love-hate relationship. <laughs> oh, I see. Are you allergic? No, not quite. Um, just interesting memories. He's just picky. Oh, a lot of us tend to be. I mean, Ken's always picky. I can eat anything. Yes, I'm very picky. I especially only eat the freshest of fish. I guess that's what people say. Okay, I'll take... All of the beef. All two pounds? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. That'll be six silver pieces. And um, I'll just go ahead and take... Um, I'll just take... Uh, what kind of fish are there? Is it just fish? <laughs> the type of fish? Yeah, or is there like any specifics? Do they got squid? Um... Sure, why not? Um, I'll go ahead and take, um, one of the, you know, I don't know, I'm just gonna name a random fish, salmon, cod. <laughs> as, uh, as well as, um, ooh, you seem to have squid. Wait, you know what salmon is? How much would you like? I cannot hear anything. Um, I'll... I'm sorry, my audio cut off right there? You were fine, but I'd, I think you had trouble hearing us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much would you like? Yeah, my question was, um, uh, um, uh, um, yeah, so, um, I will just take half a pound and another half a pound. <laughs> She's just looking at the size of the bag in order to determine if this is what she wants to get. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna... And she, um, she looks, uh, she looks, wait, are you, hold on, sorry, hold on. My brain stopped working. Okay, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a total of nine silver pieces. Um, okay. She kind of, she, <laughs> she's kind of apprehensive about buying this, but she's like, okay, fuck it, you gotta do it. And she goes ahead, goes open her pouch and pulls out, um, nine gold pieces. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? Um, she's got nine silver pieces. Well, I only have gold pieces. Okay, then give her one gold. What, just one? Yeah. Okay, I hope this covers. Oh, I, I, uh, she, she, like, as you pull out the nine gold pieces, she's just kind of like, <gasps> And she's, she shakes her head, ah, right, right. And she takes the one gold piece and she goes to essentially like her little register and she goes through it and pulls out a silver piece and she comes back to you and she's like, here you go. And she hands you the silver piece. Um, okay, thank you. And she goes and takes it and puts it in her little bag. Ken finally finishes up. You guys hear like one more stack of wood hit against each other as Ken comes out from the back room and he starts like clapping his hands together to wipe off whatever dust or spice that had rubbed onto his hands. All this stuff's moved back. We can probably just wake up early tomorrow and get going. And she's like, oh, okay, well, they just made their purchases and um, we can. And uh, Ken's gonna look at you two, and he's like, "So are you two gonna leave now, then?" Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. All right. As he walks to the front door, he opens it up, uh, unlocking it, and kind of opens it for you guys to go ahead and exit. But he um, doesn't. He's not like forcing you guys. He's just kind of like opening it. Um. Thank you again for everything, and um, I hope stay stay for your travels. Of course! And she starts like waving all happily, like, bye guys! Bye. And I... Ken's just like waiting for you guys to leave. <laughs> I hug her. <gasps> she hugs you back! Um, she feels kind of warm. <laughs> <laughs> she's on fire! <laughs> she feels. She kind of. She doesn't want to, but she kind of pulls away and she's like, it's suddenly really hot. Uh, right? <laughs> And then she, um, it's getting it's hot in here. <laughs> and she just smiles and then um, she's gonna go over to the door and then she hugs Ken. He is like dumbfounded and he's just like, what is it, like otaku style, like, mm, and looks the other way. <laughs> and then she, um, she skips off. <laughs> she skips out of the door and Holly just goes ahead and slowly makes her way out and she looks uh, she gives a head bow to uh, to Ken over here turns around gives a head bow over to uh, Allison and um anyway uh, hope your transactions uh, go swimmingly tomorrow 
Nice. Bye, girls. Bye, Cassandra. Bye. And then before she can say your name, Ken just closes the door. Well, that was rude. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and uh, find that in. Yeah. Feels nimbly at the jerk. <laughs> Is it good? Feels nimbly at the jerk. <laughs> Is it good? Um. It's pretty good. She nods. <laughs> it's definitely much better than crow. Like a thousand times better than crow. And Fuck it's you. <laughs> it tastes way better. Like the meat that you eat raw is good, but this is like another level. You see her eyes just light up. You see the that bright yellow eyes just kind of like light up. <laughs> well, I guess it's uh, delicious then. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and find that in. <laughs> I'd say by the time you guys are done with your interactions and everything, the other half of the group had finally arrived to the town. Koshka, Yuna, and what's his name? Cyrus. <laughs> you forgot your own character's name? The fuck? No, I, I did that on purpose. purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, Yuna, okay, Kuska you forgot your own character's rest. name? You know, Kuska and all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The rest? What do you mean? <laughs> um, Yuna is going to uh, walk around, like take a little step here, then another, like turn to a different direction, take another step, and she's just looking around. Trying to see if she can spy Kalu. Koshka's gonna tilt her nose up and just start sniffing the air for either Koshka or, or Kalia or uh, Fio's sense. <laughs> yes. Either Kalia or Fio's sense. Koshka, you immediately find yourself. <laughs> uh, everyone roll me a perception. If I'm if I'm if I'm trying to track them with scent wouldn't that i you know what it's it's the no, same no it's the same bonus it really doesn't matter they're both negative okay. one. Oh my fucking my my wait, perception wait. and survival are both negative one wait you're you have a nose yes <laughs> did did i not draw it Wait, you have a nose. Uh, there's not a lot of people out for it is much later. It is about 9 p.m. Um, not that you guys know the time, but um, the few people that are out are staring. At? Huh? At? At? They they see you, Koshka, and like, they look at Yuna, and then they see Cyrus and Koshka, and then just kind of like, quickly walk, and you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 you're like, oh, look, look at that, oh, 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 <laughs> progressively getting worse. <laughs> Like, oh, that one's pretty cute. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, okay. That one's a little bit creepy. Kind of sexy, but eh, <laughs> and it looks like that fucking. <laughs> and then look at Cyrus. <laughs> Run! I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving. <laughs> and we're walking. And we're and walking. walking. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. You, uh, no. mm -hmm. Koshka, you are sniffing around. You're you're looking around. You catch a whiff of a very strong but pleasant. Well, it's not strong. It's a very pleasant smell. Nice. 
Do you follow? Yes. You follow. You know, you notice, as you're looking around, you definitely notice Koshka kind of wandering towards a different direction. Hmm? Koshka, did you find them? I found... smell. You know, you... You... As you follow Koshka's... Uh, as you follow Koshka, you... you... think you catch a glimpse of... Vio, maybe? Hmm? You see uh, something just brighten up. And Cyrus is just... distracted. Hey, she... she stopped Tommy following... The dragon. <laughs> you see him kind of... he think like, as people are looking at him, he looks back at the people, narrowing his eyes. He thinks that they're gonna challenge him or something, but they just run away. <laughs> and he kind of stands up straight, like, as if he wants some sort of battle. <laughs> <laughs> that little dummy. It's instinct. This is nature. Anyways, um, uh, Yuna stops. I am the master commander. <laughs> <laughs> and then she she sees like the little flame. She goes. You see something brighten up. I I, I I'm I'm just saying. You just see something brighten yeah. up. Yeah. And she goes, Koshka. I I think I might assign Theo. Is is it in the same direction that Koshka's walking? It is like it, it it's yes, but it diverts to a different direction if you get closer, or when you get closer. She she looks between Yuna and the direction she was walking. Ah, oh, fine. And then looks back towards Cyrus. Ah. You, you see him just, uh, just proudly walking. <laughs> <laughs> this kid. Settle down, humans. They will run in fear of just about anything. She looks at Koshka now and she tilts her head. <laughs> Koshka points at Cyrus. Cyrus is. He just. Like, he just puffs at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's gonna just walk. <laughs> ah. She's gonna walk in the direction she saw the, the, the light source. As you guys walk that direction, Koshka, you notice that you're, the, the smell is coming from a store. I turn towards the store. As you sniff the air, you do catch a whiff of, um, yeah, I think this Kalia and Fio. Like, is your is your smell like your sniffer perceptive enough? If your sniffer perceptive enough to catch Kalia or Fio scent, if they have a scent. Um, Kalia's she's... would probably be weaker because they're so close to the ocean. Yeah. But she's also been around them long enough that she know their scents by now. Okay, you definitely catch a Fio scent. You you think you're pretty sure Kalia is there? But it's a little harder to tell because you guys are so close to seawater. From the store? Like, yeah, you just catch that from the front end of the store. Um, as you look through the window, you see someone in there as they're moving something, and he looks at you and he kind of like falls back. Like, and you just hear, what? Told you. She, she told just. Cat. Scary. <laughs> <clears throat> she just smirks at him with a big toothy grin. And then you see a woman come up and help him up, and then she's like, "Are you? You, you don't really quite hear this. It just you know, sounds muffled." And it's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and behind the window and stuff. And then she looks at you, Koshka, and she's like, oh, six-legged cat." And then you hear Ken 
if you hear him, you hear him say, with big boobs. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ken. Thanks. Wait, wait. Let me see if I can at least read their lips. Allison just smacks him over the head. I I guess I can. <laughs> she what she been saying about me. She tilts her head to the right, then looks over towards the light. Looks back at Yuna. I have feeling... Fish definitely did not say anything like that. Little bird has been saying strange things. Hmm? She's going to stop and look at her Koshka now. She points through the window at the guy. Uh, Yuna tilts her head and she, she you see her like a, a walk over towards to the window with like a little bounce to her step and then she looks in. <laughs> Damn, like a whole fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are fucking assaulting this guy. Holy <laughs> fuck. You know, yeah, you know, you walk up to the window, kind of hopping and skipping, happy and whatever, and uh, next to this toothy grin, giant, gray, six legged woman beast. You see, woman like, beast. You, you see uh, Allison, like helping up Ken, who is already up, but she's kind of holding his arm as he's not really paying attention, and he's looking at Koshka. And they both kind of jump, like, not, they jump, they're startled, as you, like, suddenly hop into their view, and, and you just, you look so charming, and they're just like, ah, oh, what? And they're confused to see, essentially, polar opposites of Koshka and Yuna. <laughs> well, she said six-legged cat as if she already knew of my existence and then he said this big boobs as if <laughs> expecting six-legged cat this big boobs hey so are you saying that they knew about you it seems that way oh it like kind of clicks in her head and then she like she like um leans into the window and she, and she like Gently knocks on it. While you do that, Koshka just reaches down and tries to open the door. As you move the knob, it, you just hear a clunk 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 as if it's locked. Does Yuna uh, not recognize them? Yeah, uh, Yuna see. should oh, recognize them. Yuna does. As uh, Yuna, you approach the window, you, you kind of put your face on the window, your horn kind of hitting against the glass, and it kind of pushes your face like... like like the the horn keeps your forehead in place, but your chin kind of hits the glass, and <clears throat> the two are just like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening?" <laughs> <laughs> this cute little thing and this big old sexy lady. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Do I do I recognize them? I mean, I would assume you did. Uh, roll me a perception in regards for. If you saw them when you were talking to Kalia. That's 19 G. Then yes, you do recognize them from a couple hours ago. <gasps> it's them! <laughs> no, it's not! It when is... you say that, Yuna, you... You're... you're there's a shadow, like, overcasting you, and Allison and Ken are even more frightened. <laughs> they just kind of hug each other and, like... <laughs> Holding each other. It, is Zen? Mm hmm. They were the ones talking to Kali and Theo. They didn't. I see. So they must know where they went. She's you know, going to like look back from, from Koshka back at, uh, at them, like through the window. She's going to smile and she's going to wave. <laughs> Koshka they starts knocking petrified. on the door. Koshka is knocking on the door, and uh, they are looking past you, Yuna. She tilts her head and she looks like a word. As you look up, these people involved. You look further up, up, and then you're kind of looking back, and then you just see like Cyrus standing behind you, glaring at them. I thought you regretted nothing, Anthony. But then she like bends backwards. 
<laughs> yeah, I, regret, I don't regret splitting the party. You know, make a. Uh, uh, what did we keep, keep balance? Uh, but a uh, uh, dexterity check. Dexterity. Oh, to keep her balance, yeah. Yeah. Dex. Save or just regular. Regular. Right, it's regular. <laughs> you know, you look up, 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 and back, and back, and you kind of like, you kind of mess up your your footing there, and then you just kind of fall over. You're can, about to fall can, over. Can I try to, or is Cyrus yeah, gonna try to catch, catch her? Okay. Actually, roll roll deck deck. <laughs> oh, just Dex? Okay. Oh, no, you can keep the acrobatics. Oh you can yes. Catch her. Cyrus just kind of watches you fall. Oh, thanks. But uh, Koshka <laughs> catches you. Um, she's gonna like um, be a little surprised that she kind of did a dumb, and then uh, <laughs> she kind of did a dumb. <laughs> she's gonna like uh, look between Cyrus and Koshka before she sees that Koshka collar, and she goes, "Oh, thank you." You guys um, see the siblings stop hugging each oh, other. Right. And Allison kind of looks at Yuna and she scared, like, in a very scared manner, waves her hand and then Kim grabs her hand and puts it down. <laughs> um, Yuna, like, perks up at that and so she, uh, after she, like, pushes herself back upward from where Kosha caught her and then she goes to the door. Um, and then as she's looking at Allison, she's going to, uh, like, link her mind to her uh -huh. and then like I pointing at the nuts and go can you open up we want to ask you something <laughs> y'all are y'all are holy <laughs> fuck <laughs> that's all you guys hear you just hear a ah! and she looks around and Ken's like what is wrong with you <laughs> it's like I heard something I heard someone you, you hear a you hear a <laughs> Yuna and Cyrus you hear Koshka, Koshka just say if they do not open door soon, I am breaking window. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just hear another knock like Yuna's doing, and then she's gonna go. It's me. Can you please open up? It's me. They don't even know who me <laughs> is. <laughs> and then, cause cause they saw her freak out, and so she's just pointing at the person she's hearing is her. Uh. I, uh, Ken, I think it's the, the the woman over there who's talking to me. The horny woman? Or the other <laughs> horny woman? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the... The, the naked woman? Yuna. And then, Yuna, you see Allison just kind of, like, walk to the door, but she doesn't open it, and Ken's, like readily behind her. Fire is staring at Ken and Ken just kind of avoiding him. <laughs> uh, and you can hear through the door. Uh, hi. Hello. Mm. I don't understand what, what she's doing with those two. <laughs> Wait, is that loud enough for the rest of us to hear now? Uh, she whispered that to Ken. If you want to roll perception, you can. Nope. You did not. <laughs> I... We're closed? What? But we want to ask you some questions. You were with our friends. I am You're... about to break a window if they do not open door. Don't break their window. Break her window? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Ken, I think we have to let them in. I am not going to let them in. <laughs> Ken, I don't think we have a choice. They're going to break our windows. I'm going to have to go get the authorities. Uh, she's going to, then you're just going to like, just like, her head's just going to like, drop a bit. She's going to go. Okay, Koshka guys, taps on the want... window with the claw. <laughs> She's gonna look back and be like, stop, stop, and she's waving her hands at, like, Koshka, she just goes from the door window. Koshka, you just see in your vision, like, someone waving her hands at you, and she just looks like she's, like, freaking out. Koshka is enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Koshka, stop it. 
She's gonna look. Then she's gonna look back at Cyrus. I'll be right. I'll I'll I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> she's gonna teleport inside. Oh yeah, because that's not gonna terrify them any, even more. Y'all are crazy ass motherfuckers. <laughs> you can do that and. When you teleport, again, there's a silhouette of glitter left behind. Koshka, you see a bunch of glitter just floating as it reaches towards- it, it falls gently towards the ground. I imagine I smack the door as I try to grab some of the glitter. Uh, you- roll me a sleight of hand to see how you do with catching glitter. Uh. You do pretty good at catching the glitter. You, you you catch it and it's gone. You catch another one and it's gone. I'm gonna say maybe like your butt or tendrils would like hit the door, and so when you guys are in, they just hear like a, a like a smack smack against the door, and Yuna just before them, and Koshka and Cyrus. All you guys hear is ah, and like a guy go ah. <laughs> wait, wait. I just wanted to ask you some questions. This is breaking and entering. This is- you, what you're doing is illegal. <laughs> Nothing was broken. Yet. Damage property. <laughs> I will- And then Ken's about to make something, but- um, Say something else. It's like, shush, shush! Just let them talk. Maybe if we listen, we'll- Survive. Not... Survive. Ken's like, fuck. He's like, we're, we're not gonna hurt you. They both look out the window at Cyrus and Koshka. They look back at <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you! <laughs> she goes, all we want to do is find our friends. You were with them earlier. Do... Do you mean Fiona and Cassandra? What? <laughs> 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 like, no, Kalia okay. and Fio. Um, I didn't help anyone named Kalia or Fio, but uh, I, so we did help a couple of people earlier. Yeah, I saw you with them. You you what? Wait, you're stalking us now? <laughs> Ken is staring at you, you know. Things are not, like, turning any better. <laughs> hey, I got you the combat you wanted, you just had to call in the guards. I'm... I'm... Well, you'll... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Wait, seriously? Wait, just, yeah, stop. just... Just just keep... Go ahead, you yeah. know. She goes, yeah! You know, Kalia, uh, blue hair, blue dress... Um, carries books, uh, Theo, Lil, um, what? Liar. Uh, Cassandra and Fiona. Kalia and Theo. That is not how they introduced themselves to us. Oh, did I blow their cover? Oops. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Um, we just want to know where they went, that's all. Well, they were heading towards an inn down that way as she points in the direction. I, I gave them a Sellouts. map and... Sellouts! <laughs> they... Traitors! All of them. They're heading down that way. Mm. You're oh. not going to steal from us, are you? What? No. Oh, thank goodness. In that case, do you want to buy something? Can oh, how is it? Not right now. But can you usually like to have people buy things? No, Allison. Not now. Mm. How did you get in here anyways? Not with those two here. monsters outside. Huh? I was like, not with those two monsters outside. Yeah. Uh, what, what were you saying? Allison, uh, no, that, I think that was it, yeah. Okay. He goes, um, okay, in, they we're going to the end, okay, and they're going that way, right? She, like, points. She nods. Right. 
Tala, thank you, and uh, sorry for breaking in. Sorry, you don't just, you can't just, you don't, and he's like gesturing, like you can't just waltz into whatever you want and expect to just, for us to take your apology. That's not how this yeah. works. Her ears droop. Allison smacks Cyrus. I mean, Alex is <laughs> Oh, Max Cyrus, <laughs> does she? Runs <laughs> <laughs> back in. She has to jump and then smack him and then. <laughs> she jumps and smacks him. Everyone roll for initiative. So, no. yeah. Um, her, her ears Allison smacks Ken, and she's like, "Shut up, just be nice." And he's like, "You, me, them." She's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's just, uh, that's, this isn't something you typically do, I mean, are you, we're running into a lot of strange people today. Uh, it's just, we, we really want to find our friends and you were pointing the door, I didn't know what else to do. Knocking on glass again. She's sad, you know, I see you sad, you know. <laughs> don't, don't be sad. And she does look at you. She, I'm gonna have her roll an investigation on, like, inside. In, uh, she wants to kind of examine her as a person because Yuna is a little bit closer to looking human. But she, I'm gonna see if my girl's smart. Would it be like? It's horny. Uh, investigation. Yeah. Investigation. Okay. Allison, you. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. Okay, well, they're both not the brightest. Ain't Ken. The sharpest tool in the shed. In Ken, uh, Allison completely overlooks the fact of, like, your general look, Yuna. Ken, however, kind of narrows his eyes a little bit, but then he kind of shrugs. And Allison just goes on and says, oh, please, please don't be upset, um, it's just, I, you, I, uh. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. She's gonna turn around and start heading to the door. Uh, Ken, go open the door for her, and he says, if she can come in, then she can get out, I don't need to open the door. He's got a point. She's gonna smack <laughs> him and get the keys from him. Let me do something real quick. He manages to keep the keys on him. He is gonna look back at them and say, Thanks again for the information. Don't worry, I'll let myself out. I'm just gonna tell them we're out. They both just stare at the glitter and then they look at each other. Is door <laughs> going to open or do I have to break window? Uh, Yuna, um, as soon as she appears right back out, she hears you, Koshka, and she looks and goes, No, no, I got it. They're heading to the inn. What inn? And in. That inn. Is, th is there only one inn? Did they tell you name of inn? No, they just told me it was an inn. And it was this way. She, like, points. What if there's, what if there are five inns over there? And we can't enter and break in. <laughs> she starts knocking on the window again. See Ken like gesturing, like go away. She puts her head closer to the window, bares her teeth, knocks a little harder. Uh, Allison's going to smack it. Let me see if she, uh, she manages to take the key from him. You see her like kind of approach and grab the key and he is startled as he kind of like tries to keep the key and she like pushes him taking the key and he falls back <laughs> and she opens the door and she's like, please don't break her window. Kushka puts her face right up to Allison. 
What is the name of Ian? Something plume or something feather? I don't quite remember the name. She kind of squints at Allison. <laughs> Fine. Good enough. Starts walking away in the direction that Theo and Kalia apparently went. Uh, Yuna's gonna see Koshko start, how you start walking. She's gonna look back at, at Allison at the door and go, I'm sorry again! And she's gonna wave and start walking. You guys see um, Ken kind of poke his head over, like above Allison as she's poking her head out the door. And then he looks down at her and she looks up at him. And then they go back to looking at Yuna. And then Cyrus just follows after. <laughs> Good job, you guys. You terrified a pair of siblings. <laughs> Me it, It's It's not our fault. Yeah, it Theo, is. Theo was the one... Theo and Kalia were the one telling s scary stories about six-legged cats and green drakes. I didn't, I didn't specify a green drake. You did. I listened to the VOD. Did I? Yes, you did. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Y'all are... Y'all are mean. <laughs> uh, you know I was trying to be nice? <laughs> I just got two big scary people behind me. Yeah, I mean, like, this is kind of your fault now, too. Yeah, it is. I mean, she in in, in, in fairness, <laughs> Sight. Someone teleports into your fucking house, what do you do? You weren't opening the door! In it doesn't mean you teleport in! In fairness, <laughs> Cyrus was just uh, uh, taking the back seat there. While Koshka hey. fucking Alistor uh, grinned at them. Oh my god, for connection block. My connection? Yeah. Oof, uh, one sec. For your life? How, how's that? How again? Uh, hi. Talking, making sounds, words. Okay, it's better. Okay. Alright, so, <clears throat> to Kalina and Thea? Question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys are a little deeper into uh, the town, and you guys do come across um, most of the shops and stuff seem to be closed. Uh, but you guys do see, um, light coming from one of the buildings, and as you look at the name, it says, The Evil Feather. Um, you see, um, the, uh, I mean, as the you say evil or evil feather? The evil feather. Oh, that's exciting. We go in! <laughs> Theo's numbing on that jerky. <laughs> you know, you the that. more you eat, the, the, you know, the more you eat that, the less you'll have in the future. I say, I say that to Theo. I know. She's like, what? Yeah. If you if you eat this all at once, then you won't be able to eat some tomorrow. Or well, later, or later, you know? Can't we just go back? Well, we can't keep going back forever. Um. <laughs> you still have the fish jerky? Yeah, I still have the fish jerky. And, well, one's for me and the other one's for Cyrus. Why Cyrus? Um, well, we had a little conversation a while back and... I think he'd want some. Do you like him? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, he's... Okay to be around. Um... 
I do see us, see us as friends, so there's that at least. I suppose, in a certain sense, I do like him. She kind of like squints her eyes. Why are you squinting your eyes at me? What are you getting at? You're trying to make him like you. What do you mean, like me? Like, like, like. Theo, just a quick question. The the way you're dressed, is it feathers? I mean, um, flames? No. Um, or I mean, are you naked? Some, I mean, you can see some, like, it's some... Is it flames. She's not naked. Is it like the flames that, like, is it still the same, like, flames covering your, your, your sensor not, areas? Or naughty bits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, just making sure. Um, well, but if I want some fish juice, then you can ask. Yeah. Can I have some fish juice? I give her one piece. Ah. That and pillows. That's it? What was that, Katie? One more. She said, that's it? What if I want more? And you can ask for some later. You're difficult. Did you just say I'm disappointing? You're difficult. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not being difficult. She looks up at the evil feather, and then she's like, Come on, why don't we go ahead and get in? And she um, goes in. We you go guys, in. You guys step in, and there's the door opens, and you hear the ding a ling a ling from the bell. And um, you don't see, you see quite a few uh, wares and like displayed weaponry, like nothing too advanced, just kind of like swords, swords and, shit. and yeah, exactly. And in a moment, you see a woman come out. You see this woman come out, and she kind of looks at you too, and she's like, "Well, welcome, welcome um, to my what? store, the Evil Feather. What can I do for you?" Why is it evil? <laughs> well, we are an inn, but we also sell, as you can see, and she points out the weaponry. It's just a, a sweet little twist. Are weapons evil? Depends on how you use them. Meta is meta. Um, we were sort of looking for an inn to stay at for a little bit. And you're welcome to stay here if you like. Um. How much is a room for a night? Uh, is it for two separate rooms or one? As she looks oh. between the two of you. We'll take a room. We'll, we'll take one room for the both of us. One room will be two silver pieces, and uh, as she examines Fio, additional prices for any damages. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, she goes ahead and, um, if she remembers that that, that cost him nine silver, she goes ahead and, um, thinks about it. Well, how, many, uh, how much did you say again? Uh, total in, like, you have 199 no, gold no, how pieces. how much did she say specifically? Oh, she said two silver pieces. Damages are extra. Um, okay. Uh, she goes ahead and grabs one single gold coin out and, uh, offers it onto the table. Oh. Well, thank you. As she takes it and she kind of goes through her stuff, like you hear like a clink. Well, you hear it hit like a wooden, like an empty wooden bottom. And then through another container, you hear like clinks of of coin as she pulls out um, eight silver pieces. And she, oh yeah, eight silver pieces and she hands it to you. Like she puts it on the table and pushes it your direction. There you are. 
Uh, thank you. And she goes to put back into her satchel thing, whatever. You do that. Yeah. She then goes uh, to another little segment section as she kind of goes through the like you hear like like a uh, metal hitting against each other like clinking as she pulls out a key and she hands it to you and here's your key would your uh, she looks to feel again companion like a key as well oh uh, we won't be doing too much i think the one is just fine Alrighty. um um, um yes <laughs> yes well, Fio. well do you just do you want people to do evil things with this sword what people do with the swords and weapons are none of my concern. They no, purchase. but it's called evil feather. But if the swords are evil, or you want them to be evil? <laughs> she just smiles sweetly at you and does not respond. But come on, Fio, let's just go ahead and get some rest. How come it can't be like fiery feather? Because I don't sell fire. Do you sell evil? <laughs> You're such a curious little one. Please, your room is this way. As she kind of like points out to you guys the hallway that's beside um, you guys. Like, not beside, but in front of you guys. Beside her, in front of you guys. She goes, the number of your key is right there. And she points at it. But it's just follow down that way and she, again, gestures to the direction where your room would be at. And to your left, you will find your room. Um, thank you. Of course. Uh, come on, Fio. You see Fio walks towards, like, where she sees the weapons. <laughs> Fio, come on! But I don't see feathers either. The feathers are in your pillow. And they're evil. Oh yes, quite. They will give you nightmares if you're not a good little girl. Hmm. Come on, Fio. If you don't want nightmares, let's go. These feathers are better. <laughs> yes, your feathers are better. When you guys say that, you don't see her since you guys leave, but she like she has like a question mark over her head, like, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we go to our room. I hope yeah, we go to our room. <laughs> yeah, the the room, it's like a typical kind of inn. You walk in, the, there's rugs on the floor, um, and you can, you come up to your door, and you'll put in the key, you open it, and it's a, like a, a the two, like the rooms with two beds kind of thing, but they're, they're twin size beds, not, nothing glamorous. Wow, that looks what was that? I said that looks comfy. <laughs> Roll perception. I'm just kidding. Um, I I guess yeah. <laughs> I've never really been in one before. I'll race you. She runs and jumps on the bed. <laughs> um, she doesn't race, but she just smiles. Well, she smiles underneath her veil. As she watches you as you dive bomb this fucking bed. Flames still on, Theo? Yes. <laughs> Kalia, you notice that her bed is somewhat catching fire. Theo, please turn your flames off. Yep. You can turn flames off. Thank you. You got. Um, you, I, you got. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I, I prefer not to pay for extra damages. She looks at the blanket. There are scorch marks on the blanket. He tries to hide them. <laughs> I'm sure they might wash off. Um, well, you let's... assume that. <laughs> let's, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and rest for the night, and we can go. Oh, um, use you know, your water thing. I don't think my water thing. He will be able to help something that's already burned. Well, in this case, but scorch. You can turn on I'm going to give it an attempt. <laughs> I will give it an attempt to walk off. Oh, our 
Arcana. Oh god. <laughs> you oh thank god. <laughs> I was muted, but I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Um you pull water from your your reservoir there onto the blanket and you just kind of like sweep it with your your you, you, you like gesture sweeping motion with your arm as the water kind of grazes over er, the um blanket and it seems to have gotten quite a bit off but there's still you, you see the, the bit of damage done to the blanket there's a bit of a hole kind of burnt through and the the ring has like blackened parts to it but uh, for the most part it's pretty good Maybe they won't notice. <laughs> she kind of like just pulls off the um, the blanket and kind of just like stuffs it under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> do that. How about you do that? Well, I mean, like, I don't know if you want to use a blanket, but maybe you could do that tomorrow morning? She tilts her head. But... Why? <laughs> um, you know what? <laughs> well, continue. <laughs> um, just when you're done, uh, get some rest, and we'll go um, to the bookstore and see if we can find anything on unicorns. And if we're lucky, we can find things on dragons and and displacer beasts and maybe even phoenixes. What's a displacer? Um, six-legged cat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> did you say no? She said ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six-legged cats are kind of creepy, especially the ones with the big boobs. <laughs> Atra, are you muted? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure you're here to catch all this. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I, I've, I've just, I've resigned myself to accept the fact that Katie, or rather Fio, is just going to keep shitting on Koshka. <laughs> and as long as Koshka isn't there, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> smart, smart. Um, so why don't we get suppressed, Fio? Mm -hmm. She just collapses on the bed, and then she, like, keeps rolling around in the bed. <laughs> uh, Kali just kind of smiles underneath her veil and just goes to bed. Puts her little books on the side. Kind of cherishes and holds her gold coins because she doesn't still just doesn't understand the value of them. Alright. Uh, you guys do that, and you comfortably go to bed thinking that nothing else is going to happen at the moment. Right? <laughs> That's where we end the session, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not yet. I mean, for now, you guys are pretty much done, but the other three... Yeah, wait, what's the name of the innkeeper lady? You didn't get it. I'm just curious on what it is. But you didn't get it. No, as a player... You didn't, didn't get it. You didn't get it. But you didn't get it. Funny, but I need her name. But you didn't get it. But you didn't get it. Just say Fine, fuck you. Roll history, see if you remember. No, that's fine. I didn't get it. Well, I was gonna say that her her name was on a little plaque there. Fine. You might get it. You might get it. No, I didn't. Dude, I'm so I am I am. But you didn't get it. <laughs> hey Anthony, but you didn't get it. <laughs> but you didn't get it. What is that? Uh, you think? Ladies and gentlemen, our first natural for the night. What do you mean? I got a nat 20 Oh, here. that's right, for your gold. Does that count? That your fucking gold. counts, you it's are. Your gold. I rolled it in game, it counts. It's your gold. Yeah, it's my gold and it counts. It's it's still a natural twenty on a d twenty. It unfortunately All right. counts. That's true. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I lied. 
It's our first nat one of the night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> All right. It's our first critical failure of the night. Ladies there and we go. I take nothing. I take nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, alpaca. Yeah. So, you guys are walking down the path. If you want to roll a perception for me to see if you find. Yes. <laughs> oh wait, we're we're rolling perception, or is it just yeah. Dina? You, unless you're looking. I mean, yeah. apparently not. Kloshka, you think you're distracted by? You hear squeak, squeak, squeak. I'll get you, little mouse. <laughs> yes, she does say that. You know, you do hear her say, I'll get you, little mouse. Your ear, like, which is a mouse. Do you not hear her squeaking? She shakes her head. She squints at you. Look. I, I may be Did old, but I am not crazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 your, your reaction was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you were gonna say plus? Cyrus, um... No, she said it in front. No, he would have heard it, yeah. He looks around, uh, and he looks, to, he calls out to Yuna. What was it called? Um, Koshka, what was it called? Something about plume or feather. He then looks around and he points to the end called the evil feather. Yeah, it's his feather. She walks in. That's an interesting name. <laughs> you see her staring up at it. Meanwhile, Koshka just walks in without a care in the world. You know, are you gonna... You see her staring at it. Cyrus, uh... Kind of... Gesture... He, uh... Pushes you... Forward. <laughs> Get back! Get back! <laughs> pushes me forward... Lightly, or... Well, he's not gonna shove you. He okay. pushes you. Okay. I, I chose the word push. Yay. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, no, choices. Like, why do you yay? <laughs> he's like. Um, no yays. Okay, choices. Okay, choices. <laughs> Alright, um, when he, uh, like, like, like pushes her, she's gonna be like, oh, right, right, sorry. You walk in, you hear an initial ding-a-ling, and followed by, like, the door about to close, and then just again, ding-a-ling. Um, you, uh, you notice that Cyrus doesn't follow right after you. Um, and I... Koshka, you notice a woman, the woman that you saw, uh, step out from behind a door, or like the door frame, and she looks to you. Uh, hello. How can I help you? I smacked the bell once as she asked that. You 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 bring your paw up like ever so lightly, and then like it, your hand, your paw or your hand, I should say, hesitates and swipes, doesn't hit it, swipes again, just gently smacks the bell, and then you like smack it, and then you pull your paw, your hand back, and she, the woman, um watches you at yes okay we are looking for two 
Um, she smacks the bell again. <laughs> you do that hesitating pause. You know, you notice that she is Koshka is very distracted by the bell. She's. You see Yuna looking back um, outside at Cyrus and then back at Koshka, like looking back at her. Um, she's gonna pat Koshka. Koshka. Hmm. But. She like points to the lady. Oh, right. Uh, we are looking for two children that may have came, come in here. Uh, yes. Uh, <coughs> those two. Yes, they came in. Are you acquainted with them? She looks back at Yuna and Cyrus. Cyrus isn't in the store. He is looking out. He is uh, distracted. You, you could say that. I see. Are you wanting a room as well? Uh, or would you like for me to inform them that you're here? You, you see, uh, the innkeeper sees her take on a uh, contemplation. Kind of cutting out again. It yeah. sounds. I don't know how to describe it, but you can hear like every other syllable. It sounds like you're on your phone. Okay, hang on. Let me let me fuck Actually, with my mic a, a little bit. Let me let you me fuck with my mic a little bit. You're yeah. going through the tunnel. That's what was going on. Okay, how does that sound? The same. Fucking hell. You know, where are you standing right now? Um, she literally just walked in at the door, so she's literally at the entrance. But after door she got open. pushed... Um, yes. Okay, so she's at the entrance with the door open. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I think... I think... How's that? That's much better. Okay. I have to reset audio drivers. That's never... Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully... Is my mic? Yep, it's still picking up on OBS. Uh, let me just double check. Okay. Yeah, because um, she's you said she noticed that Cyrus didn't follow her in and is outside. She's at the door with the door open, waiting. Yes. For her. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering your position as well. Okay. Okay. What What was going on when before the distraction of the broken mic? I was just asking for Yuna's position. <laughs> no, no, the, like. Before you guys said I was cutting out a lot. Oh, uh. What was the I? Oh, right. Okay, I remember. Now. Woman was asking you, would you like for me to inform them that you're here, or? The, the uh, innkeeper sees a uh, mischievous look upon Koshka's face. If it is acceptable. I would prefer to know their location and have the key. <laughs> she, uh, narrows, she tilts her head ever so slightly, and she says, I'm sorry, I can't just do that. I... She shakes her head, won't be giving you their key. She looks back at Yuna. 
I may not need Siki. Oh my god. <laughs> Which room are they in? I'll um, knock. I promise. How about I just go inform them that you're here? I... They didn't inform me that they were accompanied with other people, so... For all I know, you're here to, I don't know, kill them? Of course they didn't. She just smiles at that. Koshka looks back at Yuna. Yuna's e looking e at Cyrus. E e uh, Yeda. Yeah? Would you kindly explain why we are here to potential meal here? Potential? <laughs> oh, Jesus. She's gonna shake her head at Kalia. Not Kalia, Koshka. Um. She's going to look at the woman and say. <laughs> Hey, well, we were looking for our friends, and they we were told that they came in here. Um, if you can get them, that'd be great. No, no, no. I I want us to go get them, but she will, will not give a room number. And we just listen to what she said. Roll persuasion. Ka uh, Koshka, roll wisdom. Check. That's bad. Wait, her persuasion versus my wisdom? Is it wisdom to not be persuaded? Uh, yeah, I'm just making sure you're talking about me. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh. Uh, Anthony, in case of a draw. I think Yuna gets it in this situation. Uh, yeah, Yuna gets it. Her modifier is higher than Kosho's. Oh, so it's bit modifier is to look at when I draw? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. and if that's a tie, you re-roll. Interesting. Thank you for informing me. Hmm. Uh, Koshka... Yeah. But Koshka's gonna follow as quietly as she can behind the innkeeper. Making herself... Like, she's gonna drop to all six and make herself as small as possible. Not that she can get very small. The innkeeper is watching you. She's gonna turn around to go towards the room, isn't she? She's gonna. Oh my goodness. Wait, Koshka, didn't you convince. Wait, okay, hold on. What are you she, doing? She convinced me to let the innkeeper go get them. She didn't convince me to stay and wait. Okay. I said to listen to her, but. Whatever the innkeeper instructions well, the, the were, innkeeper, that's what the innkeeper didn't say to stay and wait either. <laughs> the, innkeeper the innkeeper said, just said I would go and get them. She didn't provide any instructions. <clears throat> she does look. Uh, the innkeeper looks at you one last time, you know. You know, it's gonna. Oh. Blink and go, um... What? Oh, shoot, I could hear myself. Sorry. No. Um... She's gonna blink and go... And... No... Go... Yeah, just call him, please. We'll be here. She nods. And she looks to Koshka as she walks to the... To, she walks to their room. Wait, does she actually keep her eye on Koshka? Yeah, she is. Fuck. I mean, you made a lot of very suspicious comments. Koshka's gonna follow anyway, then. We're all stuck at a disadvantage. <clears throat> nice. Let's see what this woman rolls. She barely. Barely doesn't notice you as she walks back. God damn, woman. 
As she room. walks back to the other, to their room, um, Theo, Kalia, you hear a knock on your door. Chinese. Do you guys wake up? Hello? K Katie? Anthony? So sorry! What's up? Bitch, no, you're not. What? Not, <laughs> not, not, not you. Where is Katie? I am. She's Katie. around. Let us do the thing that only works for you for some reason. No, it doesn't. Not anymore. Oh, you right. Let us do the thing. Babu! I like to hear it. Aww. It is adorable. <laughs> it works! works. See? Take a lot of it works. I need to stand corrected. Oh, you should see the safety guideline thing that they have, Gladys. Not Gladys, the last For what? School. Oh no! Katie, do you wake up? Um, what happened? There's Not a knock on your door. <clears throat> um. Um. Second. Anthony, real con check. Unless you want to wake up, then you wake up. Yes, you wake up. Sure, I wake up. You both hear a knock on your door and you both wake up. Excuse um, me. Uh, Kali goes ahead and gets up and she you know, sort of tells Fia to you can keep laying down. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can keep laying down, Fio. I'll go ahead and check up on whatever's going on. I go over to the door and I slowly open it. Just you see leaving the it a crack did. open. Oh um hello, is everything okay? I'm terribly sorry, but I have a uh group as she like she uh, lifts her eyebrows like so not sarcastically but in a bitch manner, I have a group asking about you two. What do they look like? You well, there is a very a cheery young lady. Uh, not going to like that you have left. Yes. Uh, and she's gonna turn around. I did. Excuse me. What are you doing here? I am coming after my friends. You did not tell me to wait out front. Um, Coach Carol, perspective. Perception, I mean, not perspective. Perspective. <laughs> I mean, technically they are the same. Nine. Okay, never mind, you don't- Oh, well, let me- hold on. Yeah, you don't notice anything. I will be more specific next time. And she looks to you, Kalia. Do you know this woman? <sighs> yes. Ah, so I suppose I can leave you group alone. I'm gonna go to the front of my store to check on the other two. Okay. And she yeah. leaves. Oh, well, Koshka, I didn't expect you to be here so soon. So clearly, considering what you let little birds say about me. Bird? <clears throat> um, I believe that both of us uh, would be incapable of controlling what she says. You could have at least tried to prevent her from calling me six-legged cat big boo Um, though I funny, can only um, assume it was her who said it. Um, yes. Well, 
did you even pay for the room? I don't know. How did you seem to find me here in this exact position and being incredibly rude? Oh, no she she leans in back. through the door and just glares at Feel. Would you like to go flying, little birdie? Anyway, can you get the other two back over here? Are we all sharing this room? At this point, no. But possibly, depending on what I decide. She just shrugs and heads back to the lobby. <laughs> Kali just gives a heavy sigh. <laughs> It was... Koshka. And apparently Yuna and uh, Cyrus are outside as well. Ooh, are you in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. And neither of us are. Marvin! Oh my god. Um, is there a window? Yes, there is a window. I'm gonna walk over. I'm getting roll out of bed and then go to the window and I'm gonna see if it can open. You do that, it opens. I'm gonna look outside and it's like, Mom! Yes. No, you know, the window's. They're, they're in the they're in the lobby. Coach uh, is going to get them. You know, roll perception. Gladys. Um. Yeah. Okay. Ah, there it is. You do not. Hear, feel. Mm -hmm. You just hear like a, ah! but your attention is more focused on where Cyrus is looking, and you notice people in a group. Uh oh, oh but no? you see them leave, and Cyrus. His tail sways more and more as he kind of turns his body towards the group, uh, even though they are leaving. You don't see what they were doing or what they look like, but you saw a group of people. Um, again, she, this time since she's twice now talked to him and he had he didn't answer, she's not gonna put a hand on his arm. Cyrus. You see him immediately kind of jolt. His tail just stops and like lies down on the ground and he looks to you. His head like swiftly turns to you and he says, what? What are you looking at? I... I saw... something suspicious. She frowns. It's like, like what? He looks at the... at the spot where the group was and he says they were watching us and I decided to watch them you know you don't know if this is suspicious though okay well well they're gone now let's just get to the others all right as he listens and follows gonna open the door for him. And you see the woman uh, standing at the counter. She's like, oh, you 
You two finally let yourself in. I spoke to your uh, friends and they did mention you. Would you like a room? Oh, they, they got a room here? She nods. Um... I guess... She kind of looks at Cyrus. <laughs> he nods. I guess that's a yes. Koshka, uh, Koshka you step out. Yeah. Pop it. I found the children. Phil's gonna run towards the door. Like, open it. Uh, Kali does not get in your way. You do that. This is gonna scream. <laughs> you know, you hear that. As, as you can tell, they are, they are back this way. Did they hear ear pricks? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, I, but I guess we can get... Is there enough room? I don't think so. We should get another room. You see Fio, like, jump out of the hallway and she's, like, yelling at you, you know. Oh, yelling for you. Uh, I'll be right there! P.O. you see Koshka, Cyrus, and you know. The innkeeper? The innkeeper is there, and she just... She looks pretty tired, and she's just like, ah. Uh. Koshka's turned around and has started walking towards Fio. Um, um, yeah, I need help. What? what? I need help. You need help. I need help. This what? What? Um, I tried to blink it, and what? the said that if there's damages, um, Koshka immediately we can't have puts her finger against your lips. You show, did my blink. Show me. You no. guys see a deadpan expression on an innkeeper. Um, it's under the bed. Then keep it hidden and keep yourself quiet until mom can get you. Yeah, I have to hidden from the bed. Quiet. She is looking at you too. Feels like it. <laughs> it will be fine. There will be no damages in the world. Would you please go to your room? Hmm? Please go to your room. Koshka starts gently coaxing Fio into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait here for her mommy. I will be outside so she knows which room. She pulls the door closed and just sits outside the door. Um, Yuna, mm -hmm. you see that happen and then you see a rather dissatisfied innkeeper waiting at the counter. She's gonna like. She can tell and just goes lightly. She lightly approaches. I'm. I'm sorry. Um, we can get a room. Just put some on it. Of course, of course. That'll be two silver, please. Mm. 
he's gonna look back at Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus. Bad. Uh, just looks down at you and then looks at the woman. And he reaches into his pocket and opens his palm and you see a collection of the coins and the gems. And he, he presents it to you, Yuna. And the innkeeper, her eyes kind of widen like, what the fuck? He's gonna... What, what kind of coin is there? There's the silvers and there's silver and gold. Colors. She's gonna pick the two silver ones. Here you go. Colors. Cyrus then puts it back in his pocket and the woman like... Just... Wide-eyed, just like... Uh... Thank you. And takes the silver and she gives you a key in exchange. And she takes the key in her hand, like both her hands. And then she's gonna like bow her head. Sorry for the trouble. And she's gonna start walking. You know that uh, <laughs> <laughs> she got She just room. watches you and um, she looks to Cyrus and Cyrus just stands there. He just stands there? Yeah. Okay, she's gonna stop and look back and go, There's! He, you see him looking at the door and then you look at the woman, then he starts to follow you. Okay. Um, she gets to uh, approach the Koshka who is at the door of one of the Kalia and Fio room. There was a Koshka yeah. outside of it. Yeah, yeah definitely on the bed. Koshka just looks at Yuna. Your daughter is in need of one of your special talents. What does she do? <laughs> Fabric, fire, you do the mast. Ah, ah, oh, really? <laughs> ah, really? Ah, oh, really? <laughs> okay, choices. <laughs> Alright, um, give me a sec. She's gonna look back and she's gonna present Cyrus the key. She goes, You remember how to do this, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Takes the key from you and he tries to hold it in his claws. Remember, just like we practiced. He just fucking dunce of a child. <laughs> Koshka holds up whatever oh my hands. god! It's not- it, it's- it's- it's not just about how to do it, it's- it's different. Koshka oh my god, I don't hands. care, Will there's so like some help. Cyrus just kind of turns to the door and he like places his wing so that he- Koshka isn't looking at him. And with his claws he's going to- I'm gonna roll sleight of hand for him. Go <laughs> Koshka leans over his wing. Come on, dummy bear! Oh. As he tries to work the key in his hand, he tries to press it into the door, and it doesn't quite go in, and it, he, he ends up dropping it, and you just hear like a, Ugh! and he like leans over to pick it up and tries again. Are you sure you do not want any help? I'm fine. Um... Uh, Yuna's go. she like pat it at Kosh and go, just, just let him, just let him. You see uh. him try to put the key in again and this time he's a little more successful. And not with his, like, the tips of his claws, but with like the... I don't know what this part of the hand is called. It's like between the thumb and the index. Oh, he, gotcha. kinda, he grabs it and he turns the knob, trying not to exert too much force to break the knob or anything. And he opens the door. And then he pushes it open, and he said, "In Koshka, you notice his tail kind of like lift and fall and lift and fall." Oh, you must be so proud. <laughs> he looks over his shoulder at you, and then he lifts his tail and kind of like bats your face with it. She she baps his nose with her own tail, <laughs> and uh, he. <laughs> It goes into the room. You just hear, as you went into the room, you hear a unit out. Good job, Cyrus! 
you, you, you get like a sense of like a not happiness, but like well, a bit of joy and like pleasant, a pleasant joy. Hey. Okay. Koshka starts making her way back out towards the lobby. What? You <laughs> went through a tunnel there. It's fucking really. What is up with my audio tonight? I literally heard fucking and that's it. Yeah, I heard but but the. Okay, give me a minute. Uh huh. That sounded good. Okay. I'll I'll wait until it gets bad again. Uh, Koshka makes her wait. It's bad. Is it? <laughs> it? Is it actually anyone other than Ooh. Katie? That's really bad. Okay. How dare you? I am trustworthy. Okay, but how many times have you fucked with me? Specifically with me. Hello? Hello? Oof. Is it worse? Kind of the same, right? Okay, one sec. <laughs> oh, what did Koshka say to to Yuna? Uh, no, she didn't say anything to Yuna. She oh, okay. She started making her way towards the lobby. All right. Um, with that happening, um, Yuna's now gonna enter Kalia in Fio's room to see what Fio has done. What? Mom! She was Fio! You see her talking about Fio, not ye. What did you do? Um, yeah, and see how I like stop jumping? It's just gonna like pull out the blanket from under the, <laughs> the bed. Oh. This is gonna show you the image. I, uh, I, I, I see. <laughs> She's gonna take the blanket. It was Kalia's fault. No. Kalia's fault? All deception. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Give it. <laughs> You see through her bullshit. <laughs> Yuna gives her like this stern look. <laughs> and she shakes her head. Um, I'll just fix it. But be careful. And uh wait what? Hmm? Did you say something? <clears throat> okay. Um, she is going to look over at Kalia. What is she doing? Yes. Miss Kalia. Oh, yeah. fucking dino nuggets into a goddamn toaster oven. I will be right back. Oh, oh okay. God. Um, for now, Yuna is going to mend the blanket. Much more. See how she can touch that, patch that up, touch it up, touch up. I see that's that, um, she's going to watch, but she's also going to, like, poke at the, um, pillow. <clears throat> and try these evil actors. You, it's a cantrip, right? Yeah. Yeah, you mend it. Um. It takes you, I want to say, maybe like 10 minutes to get it all taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, 
you poke at the feather, the pillow, and uh, nothing really happens. It just kind of you poke it and it puffs. <laughs> okay, there you go, Theo. You see, Theo's mouth is on the pillow. You aren't gonna be in your room. She's gonna like uh, uh, put out the blanket on the bed, and she's gonna see. What Theo's doing? She, she's biting the pillow. Theo! What, what are you- No! What are you doing? She said there's evil feathers in the pillows that they give you nightmares. She's uh, you're just looking like, what kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> I'm... She's probably joking. You heard baby scream. This is probably not a... No, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I've, I've slept in rooms like these. Never once had a nightmare. You haven't either. Did they have evil pillows? I don't think so. They were. They, they look just like pillows. She pokes the pillow. You see your finger sink into it. Just... It's a pillow. She just stares at the pillow, which is kind of suspicious. And then she's she stares at the pillow and the pillow stares back. <laughs> then toss it to the floor. It plops. I say, I say to Theo, you better watch out, and you better watch, you better watch out at night, otherwise he might get you. Oh, Please don't. <laughs> Yo, you feel like you're being watched by the pillow. <laughs> Is everyone in this town a blonde? Oh shit. Apparently. She feels going to stare at the pillow. Fio, just go to sleep. There's nothing to worry about the pillow. You see Fio like staring at the pillow and her eyes are like glowing. Fio? Don't. Oh. And she goes to like, she curls up in her. Oh. She's gonna look at Kalia. <sighs> Just don't tell her things like that. You know she's gonna do it. Well, that's true. Well, anyway, we're back together again. You know, I was really expecting you guys to look for me <laughs> in the morning. Uh-huh. She's gonna, like, uh, poke her fingers together. Actually, as soon as I told them, you we, we were supposed to come out. We decided uh, just to come over, you know? I am not surprised whatsoever. Why did you want to come to town? Like, in... You, you couldn't wait until tomorrow? Well, at first I was getting information from the two siblings. The other names were uh, Allison and Ken. They were really nice. Um, seeing if they knew anything about unicorns in the area or maybe somewhere we can find them. Aww. And, well, one thing led to another and then, well, um, I, 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 I sort of... Alia thinks, so, thinks we could find unicorns in a book. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm I'm going to be right back. I um, I'm just gonna be right back. <laughs> she just leaves the room and takes the two bags of jerky with her uh, that she procured. That she procured. That are hers, not the ones she bought for a little Fio. Uh, okay. And she leaves the room, and uh, before she leaves, um, which room did um Cyrus go into? Oh, she's gonna like follow out to like the the door frames and go. It's that Can one. And she points to the open door. I can give it to him. They should really close that. I I can give it to him. I proceed to walk and continue forward. Trainer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, we should keep it quiet out there! You just hear from another room. Sorry! 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 She said See a tucker in. Somehow this is all gonna come to bite me back in the ass. I just know it. <laughs> As if it hasn't already. Oh no, this is not the part that I was fearing. I knew this was gonna happen some way or another. I have different things in mind. <laughs> I head over to um, the room of which Cyrus had opened and not closed the door. You do. Uh, um, when you walk in, Kali, uh, Kali, Ko Koshka, you you went in that same room, right? No, no Koshka went to the lobby. She went to the okay, you went to the lobby. Um, you went into the room that the, the door left open, and when you walk inside, you see Cyrus has all the pillows on his <laughs> bed. Of you course. see him curled up around, and you see his tail wrapped around the pillows, like a typical dragon. So what? Is it gonna be Cyrus, hoarder of pillows? He lifts his head looking at you. It's his new dragon horde. <laughs> <laughs> and he immediately gets up and he walks to you. I am forced to look up at his face. <laughs> he is forced to look down at your face. You want fish or you want squid? He he, he gets a little confused. Or Why did rather, you I, I am cutting off my my audio was cutting off. Sorry, what was that? Uh, he looks a little confused. Got it? Yep. Test. Ants. Anthony. No, yeah, no, no, I think mine is internet issues. Oh, we heard you. Heard you okay. nothing. You know, uh, we can end it right here. Nah, I'm chilling. I don't know if you guys want to keep going. Well, we're not at our normal four to five hours for this session. It's usually three hours for this session. Oh my god, are you comparing it to Vaskerheim? No, I'm... Oh. Usually it's like three hours, right, Gladys? It's usually that, but you know, I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm gl I'm happy. <laughs> hey, people want to still keep going. Yeah, we. I, I love Celestial Quest, so I don't mind keep going. But I, I understand if everybody else. I do have enough content for a little longer, but I don't. I something that I have for later is still needs to plan out. So we yeah, can right. keep going for a little longer. Um, I look at Cyrus, I tell him, you want fish or you want squid? He, he looks a bit confused and he says, No, wait, why did you leave? Because I was getting information on the unicorns, hopefully. He wants to ask more questions, but he uh, restrains himself. Anyway, fish or squid? Fish? You don't want to try squid? He looks. He like you see his eyes kind of look left, like look one direction, then quickly at you. Uh, I'll. Yes. <laughs> I toss him the bag of squid. <laughs> he catches it, and he. You see him kind of like sniffing the bag, and he opens it. And he grabs a handful of jerky. Try, try one so far, just in case you get ahead of yourself. Mm. And then, so he kind of shakes most his hand, like for most of the jerky to fall, and picks up a piece and eats it. He then grabs another piece. And then he grabs a handful. <laughs> he is eating it. A lot I of it. That's one way to make squid. He stops and he looks at you and he kind of like 
gives he offers you the bag if you want some. I take I take like two things of squid jerky, I guess. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> and here I was a little bit worried you were gonna blow up in my face. Cyrus, um he <laughs> like stops eating and he looks at you and he uh <laughs> blows up in my face. <laughs> <laughs> now he uh he kinda like cle- clears his throat. He <clears throat> I I'm trying not to get too upset. She kind of smiles at that. Well, try not to eat too much of that jerky at once, I guess. Save some for, like, tomorrow, at minimum. <laughs> he, um, nods and stops eating all the jerky. That's what I thought. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some sleep. Um, see you tomorrow. He nods, and when he goes back to his little hoard, you see him kind of, like, stuff the bag of jerky into the hoard, and then he, like, wraps around the hoard again. She eye-rolls and walks away. Alright, Kosha can do her thing now. I got nothing else. I'm going back to the room and sleeping. You run into trouble. <laughs> Fuck you. you! You get kidnapped. i like to see that happen. <laughs> I would, too. Kushkai, you go to the lobby. There is a little bell on the counter. You don't know what it is. Ding! <laughs> ding! And I start doing it and annoying it. Ding, 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 ding. Enough, enough! I'm coming! And she steps out from the back room. I. Oh. <laughs> I see it's you. Ding! Again. She walks over and she grabs it and pulls it away. What can I do for you? Yeah, she just continuously like puts it further away from you. <laughs> Cooperation. Feel or <laughs> Feel you can't sleep. You're too excited. Want Thinking to, about Cyrus. No. Uh, I want to. Uh, I'm going to try to kind of just rip a little hole into that pillow. Roll strength check. a hole into the pillow. Yeah, Bigger than the little. I had to <laughs> her in. Do I fucking yeah. see this? Yes. Mmm, B.O. You guys can message each other. Uh, we'll Atra. Uh, 
Okay. I if I could think of the word, I would tell you, but I can't think of the word right now, either. Oh, so you want me to keep your secrets? You mean discretion? Yes, thank you. Yeah, I was I was getting my dino nuggets. Oh my god. Well. She smirks at you. Well, your uh, friends at the Evil Feather will do our best to comply. My name is Avon. A V A N. And I. Oh, that's it, sorry. I didn't mean to say anything more. Oh, I encounter many unappealing introductions every day. I am an innkeeper and, and she uh, gestures to the rest of her store, a weapons maker. I don't think that's the way for it, sorry. Uh, seller. Armorer. My bad. Huh? You, you're an armorer. Armorer? Yeah. No, you armor. arm people with weapons. Yeah, armorer. armorer right. Thank you, I will keep that in mind. She nonchalantly watches you do this and exposing your claws and tendrils and she looks you in the eyes. Humans have it a little harder as we don't have these kinds of features so weapons are a little bit more necessary for us especially when we try to, I don't know, sell our own products, go off on adventures and put ourselves on the wrist to be killed as she raises an eyebrow at you. She smirks at you. Yeah, and she 
watches you leave as she writes down some notes. She then walks to the front of her store, turning off the lights. And um, she goes to like the window and turns the sign to close when she looks out the window. She spots something. And uh, you know, Fio, what's up? Um, Fio, it tore uh, the pillow, so Yuna is mending it, and then she, Fio says because it's evil, so Yuna's gonna say, she said um that it wasn't evil, so and if she wanted her to check, and Fio no um, nodded. So after mending, I want to cast um, detect evil and good. <laughs> you do that. All right. Uh, detect evil and good. Uh, I will here. I will put that here for you. So you can see what it does. But yeah, she she's she's detecting. See, thirty feet uh, for the duration. The duration. Aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within thirty feet of you. Well, you'll you'll have to, I guess, rework that. Yeah, but it's for the most part. Yeah. Okay, uh, she detected um, if they're good and evil. So let's see if the pillow is evil. Great, Just... let's do... Did she detect me because I am an elemental? I was about to explain that she does you do detect a lot of energy around you um swaying back and forth in the room not too far from you you feel something uh you feel a presence as it slowly starts to approach you guys at the very far range of 30 feet but it starts to get closer you feel something uh you do detect Fio Fio how do you describe your aura of good or evil it's um you see just a kind of like a shimmering like orange light just um like it's like it's bright at the center and then it like gets dimmer at the top like just like near her like like her core and then like um like there's like this radiant, like this kind of radiance it gets out. Like it gets dimmer as it gets further away from it, but um, yeah, it's kind of pulsing. <laughs> That's what you get a lot from not just her, but from others, like from so this your surrounding area. I suppose Kalia, would you be? Um, I mean, you most of you are rather neutral Anthony? Dino Nuggets? <laughs> yeah I want to say that but I also if you're truly evil no I'm not gonna push buttons Are you, well, what? But are you evil? Yes. Okay. Because by like, going by the monster manual is one thing. <laughs> Anthony is okay. He's back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you know, yeah, you, but uh, from the pillow, nothing. He makes like a little worried face. But this Wait. Is the, huh? You notice something. There's a feather in there. You see, he does have a feather in there. 
Wait, what? Theo does have a feather in her mouth. Theo, she's gonna take the feather. It's nothing. <laughs> She then she's gonna say, Look, I checked. The pillow is indeed. What about Kali's pillow? I'm just kidding. But what about the feathers? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't check the feather. Yo, I casted a radius. I could detect evil. There is nothing evil in this room. A radius? It was all around, and she like spins. And nada, nothing evil. All right, how evil feather? I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess, I think... Uh, I'm sure you're just overthinking it. It's just a name. I should go to sleep. I can't sleep. Okay, do you want to walk with me then? A little bit? Walk? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna walk and we're gonna stay close, okay? Mm-hmm. And when you're tired, I'll come tuck you in again. She's gonna get out of bed. <laughs> okay. She and see they see a sleeping Kalia, so she's gonna sneak past holding Theo's hand. Mm-hmm. With the, uh, box hands for Yuna. <laughs> okay, she's gonna close the door behind where she opens and closes. Yeah, so behind her. Do we, do we meet a Koshka in, like, the hallway? You're about to. Okay. That, that evil presence is approaching you, Yuna. It's making you anxious. It's making you nervous. As you get closer and closer, you hold your breath more. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, you encounter. You see a cat? Yes. A giant eight foot woman, naked cat lady. Big boobs. Just <laughs> like a cat with big boobs. Oh, hi, Koshka. We're just gonna take a little walk in the lobby. Well, Theo can't sleep. Um, we're not gonna leave, we promise. That depends. Kalia, did you close it? To, um, to Cyrus's room? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the door's closed. Just, um, Yuna's leading the way, holding Theo by the hand. And that is where we end our session. Yay! Yay. I don't know, I'm, uh, I was expecting something else and uh, apparently nothing happened, so yay. What were you expecting? <laughs> <laughs>